within this video, I'm gonna be showing y'all the best jump shots in NBA 2K24 so you can have fun in the game. I shoot 75% from three being trolled in my games, okay? Give y'all the best jump shots and tips for all ratings, all builds, all archetypes, all different heights, man. And also, you guys need to share this video. I play with randoms. No one can shoot. Still, 2024, grown adult men. You guys need to force people that you play with or just randoms that can't shoot efficiently. This jump shot video, jump shot videos. It is sad. People cannot shoot, bro. The ego to, bro, 80% of people know these videos exist. Their ego's too high to even take advice from someone else. Fix the community. It's a sickness. Now, firstly, what I want to show y'all, man, your shot timing visual cue. Put it at release. Very extremely important. There are a lot of load ups. There's a lot of dragging. There's there's different animations you get based off what you're doing. Most of y'all are casual NPCs. So to give you the most time to react to what's going on and to hit that release based off your visual cue, you want that on release. Okay, it will change your game. This matters. I don't, I don't care what no one else says. It matters. Okay, trust. Secondly, leave elite. Join Rise. Okay, it's two way tenacity. It does nothing. You don't feel no boost. You don't notice nothing. I've never noticed nothing. I play on several different accounts. With the Rise accounts that I play on, um, I prefer them a lot more. Um, you actually get to shoot a crazy shot after three basic makes. This is just nothing. You know, I know they fixed the rise and then this was just nothing, bro. Join rise. You will love shooting that crazy shot. Nice little clippy clip. Now, secondly, 6'5 through 6'10, you made your build wrong and did not make your build an 87 midi or 87 three point. Just like you see, I got this build right here. This is going to be your best jump shot. It's a baby T-Mac and uh, the Thor. None of that compares. I don't know. I tried them all. When I switched to this, I could shoot like butter, okay, on a build like this. So all y'all's poppers, big ISO builds without the 87, y'all make sure y'all try this jump shot. It will change your life. This is probably the most important jump shot on this video because a lot of y'all have messed up uh builds without the 87, okay? You should always make your builds with 87 midi or three point. T-Mac is the best jump shot in the game, okay? Okay, um, this is the one, okay? This is the one y'all need to be recommended. Now, this is the best jump shot in the game, T-Mac base. This is usually the jump shot that I be using the most when I have a build that can use it, man. This is the jump shot y'all always ask for. When I'm going crazy, shooting like 14 for 14 from three and random right. This is the one I'm using. Look how horrible this game is, guys. It's just freezing random. Now, look, if y'all don't got Patty Mills, this is the jump shot you want to use if you have a small guard, okay? Now look, this is the best jump shot in the game if you have a small build under 6'5". This is what y'all want to use. Now look, you have to be starter three, I'm pretty sure, to unlock this jump shot. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe and like. Oh, so don't show love to your boy. Now look, this is my favorite uh, big man jump shot. You have to have a high rating for this though, right? This is what I found most to be most consistent with. Now, if you ain't got the ratings, you just don't qualify for the shot, my boy. I think you have to unlock this one, too. I'm not too sure at what rep you have to uh, unlock it. Now, if you have a low jump shot for some reason, I recommend y'all use this jumper, man. Okay? So, I got y'all high rated ones, and I got y'all low rated ones. Subscribe! And to get all your hot spots, dog, if you really struggling, my career, 12-minute quarters on rookie. Thank me. Thank me later. That method seems to be easier than the street ball method. Me the street ball method still seems pretty easy, but my career, 12 minute rookie, that seemed crazy easy. A lot of people don't know about that, bro. Okay? And you could just shoot over people. A lot of people don't know you could shoot over these on these like easy settings. I even shoot over them in street ball. A lot of y'all don't know that. Here, man. I want to show y'all this right here, guys. Okay? This is very important. This is so important, bro. A lot of y'all, you're not thinking, man. I've been on at least 40 different accounts this year, right? And I'm noticing something. People don't have their badges or their hotspots, and they're going to play, and then they're whining about the game, especially this year since the rebirth, right? It gets you the silver badges or whatever. People aren't getting their hotspots and maxing out their shooting badges. You have to do it. Literally. Th this right here. Look, y'all are playing and you don't even got this mags. How do you know the real truth of the game? You feel me? Look, Hall of Fame MIDI Magician. Bro, are you going to miss a MIDI with that? Especially, I already gave y'all the best pull-ups in the game. Y'all go check it out for your build. 
I gave y'all the best releases in the game too, and I'm finna go over the best jump shots again. I go, I put in different jump shots every time, but look, you want to max out your jump shots. Look, right here, Claymore. You wanna max this hoe out. You wanna max out Mini Magician. You really wanna max out open looks. This is so important. It will change your game. I don't know why the goddamn modded controller guys, they're not doing uh the badge updates on all the uh shooting badges first. Like, I don't know if I'm just tripping, but I just feel like these shooting badges change everything. Like, like it's not even close. Like when you play with without this and then compared to with this, it's completely different, bro. That Catch and shoot, one of the most important badges, bro. People don't even got their catch and shoot max. They're gonna go play and they're missing. Look, I got this whole Hall of Fame. You feel me? People aren't maxing out their badges, especially because of the rebirth. I'm telling you, this is why you're missing way more than not. Look, the green machine, you gotta get this whole max. Maybe it might not do nothing this year, but I, I, I don't know in particular what, but I know overall when you get all your badges, it's way easier to shoot. I'm shooting 75% on an 83 point build, right? Look, space creator, max that hole, watch what happens. It's broken. Look, max that hole, watch what happens. You, you see these badges? You wanna max out your shooting badges, bro. The Agent 3s, you wanna max this hoe out before you say like the shooting this and that and that and this. The the shooting's broken because Mike Wang's playing God. It's giving you random releases and it's not letting you make it when you do time it right, bro. When you do a little bit wiggly and you still time it right, he's not letting you make it sometimes. It's annoying and broken, bro. It's, it's annoying. Like, like, stop punishing the top players. It's corny as hell. Mike Wang really need to lose his job, bro. Blinders, look, max this hoe out. Watch what's gonna happen. The Hall of Fame Deadeye, max this hoe out. Watch what's gonna happen, okay? Limitless range, max it out. Watch what's gonna happen, you feel me? I'm telling you, bro, max your badges. If you need the method, let me know. I could get all the shooting badges in probably six hours overall, like all of them, right? I just don't have the time, you know? This is a new build, by the way. This is a rebirth. I did all this in, in one day. All these badges you see, I did all this in two hours. Before I get into all the jump shots, I want to show y'all this, right? Get your lethal hot zones, okay? 2K Lab did a test, right? You have to at least get your hot spots. Before you play online, get your hot spots, bro. It will be way easier to shoot on every build you use. Get your hot spots. Send this to a friend. Tell them. Get your hot spots. Stop making everyone miserable to play the game because you're too lazy to get your hot spots. Get them. The lethal, these purple hot zones, you have to do the art of shooting drill. I think it's open like two times a week. Y'all uh, clarify down below. And also let me know y'all's favorite jump shots down below and uh, anything else. But, you know. But look, hot zones, very important. You have to get them. Now look, here are the visual cues explained by Mike Wayne. I personally use release, but you can hear what he says. But look, none of this truly matters because there's so much latency. But you know, you have to let it go before the cue of whichever one you use. It's kind of crazy, bro. But listen up, yeah, li li listen up. Jump is the point where your player's toes leave the floor. Set point is when the ball is raised up above the head before the shooting motion begins. Push, which is the default setting, is when the shooting motion is underway and the ball is being pushed forward. And release is the point just before the ball leaves the shooter's hand. Jump is the point where your player's toes leave the floor. Set point is when the ball... Now look, the whole problem with this is there's so much latency in 2K. And there's so there's different latency in so many different modes. So it's kind of hard, you know, you know, but it's still easy, right? You just got to get used to it. You know, you got to have your prediction skills up. You can't always go off the cue because there's so many different latencies. Take off trigger effect. Something should not be vibrating in your hand. You're a grown man. You feel me? Take off trigger effect on your PlayStation and on the game. You can keep on vibration. It's cool. But take off trigger effect. Throws you off. It's ridiculous. When I be playing rec, all I hear old heads, young heads, you know, just turn off your jump shot meter. I don't care if you don't know your jump shot, figure it out. 
you get a 20% plus boost without the meter. Tell all your friends, share this video to them. I know they're scamming us, but if you want to be able to shoot, <laughs> Jump Shot Boost will help you. If you want to be able to shoot, also even better, Gatorade, okay? Um, you can probably go with one of these hoes or not even use it. Make sure you always do your weekly workouts. They took Gym Rat out the game. If you do your weekly workouts on a certain level, you're gonna get the extra blue bar that helps you with your shooting and everything you do, correct? Very important, your Gatorade is gonna help you shoot. You, you see how they, everything in the game is designed for you to be in a VC deficit. We are basically paying to play the game. <laughs> Y'all ain't never thought about that, huh? Now one more thing, in every 2K, people take all this stuff off to make it have less lag delay. You could turn off your shot feedback, you could turn off everything. If you like, if you feel like stuff is really bothering you, if you're lag delayed, you turn all this off, it could help. I'm gonna keep it on, but they say you turn all this off. You know, they be doing this in every 2K, like the stage guys. I don't know if it help or don't. The ball trail, they turn it all off. If you're experiencing stuff and you just wanna test this out, this is something you could Hey, y'all click on this video on the screen. But well, hey, hey, here we go again. Talking this for when this hit the fan. Everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome. dome.